It's something about when I get on a bike, I do become like eight years old all over again. The feeling of freedom, bringing her back to her childhood. <laughs> It's why Kionda McCorders loves biking and wants to share that passion. Black Girls Do Bike have sheroes, and I am the shero. She leads the Portland chapter of Black Girls Do Bike, a national organization creating opportunities for black women in the sport. I, you know, I think the events of this year have definitely shown us the importance of being intentional and really creating space. When you see yourself represented, you're more likely to do. You're more likely to show up. You're more likely to even dive a little deeper. Kianda organizes group rides open to all women. If a ride is not beginner friendly, but some beginners come, it becomes beginner friendly. <laughs> because we never want anyone to feel left out or feel like, um, feel unsafe or not feel welcome. She discovered the group about five years ago after moving to the Rose City from Chicago. So I wanted to bike more. <laughs> My family was like, listen, enough already. <laughs> You know, it's a nice activity, but we don't have to do this every day. And we really don't have to do it for miles, right? It's supposed to be fun, mom. And so then I said, okay, I gotta find more people to bike with. Finding that community didn't come as easy as she'd hoped. She initially found a group ride online, but didn't feel welcome. It's, it's unfortunate, and I just have to say this to be so candid. It's unfortunate that certain spaces have been designated for certain people. Black Girls Do Bike wants to change that. that it. Giving riders a chance to recapture childhood or experience that freedom for the first time as an adult. That you have every right to be in this space. You have every right to take up space here. You have, there's no such thing as this sport is for this and this sport is for them, right? It's whatever your interests are.